Hello? Hello? Oh, wait, why aren't you on camera? Where's your beautiful face? I just got on. Hold on. No, 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 no excuse. All right, I, full cock. Full hog, <laughs> hanging. How shocked would you be if I just had my cock out on screen right now? I would be like <laughs> a little shocked, but not entirely. You know, like, I'd be like, whoa, that's a. It's neat. <laughs> that's a dick. That's 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 a dick. <laughs> that is a penis right there. That is that is yeah, a fact. That's a penis. the name of our show after all, right? Yeah. Well, I do expect you to be hard. So, like, if your cock yeah, sound yeah, it's yeah. not hard, then I'll be a little sad. I'll be like, oh, am I not good enough for you? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> looks like, like my camera's trying to blur itself on purpose here. It looks like it knows. Yeah, it knows what you what we're planning on doing. <laughs> that's you know, there's filming for our OnlyFans. So. <laughs> Yeah, coming soon, by the way. Yeah, very yeah. soon. <laughs> well, it looks like Brayden's picking up his drugs, so... Oh, I see. Is that what he texted you? <laughs> yeah, that's what he messaged. He was like, oh, shit, I'm, like, picking up my drugs right now. Even though we said, hey, we're recording tonight. <laughs> Apparently, I we would... just need to, like, re-mention what fucking time every would, single time uh, for him. <laughs> well, I know, and it feels that way, huh? But, uh... Yeah. I was a little late too, though. I, Michaela and I, well, Michaela did it tonight. I should say uh, we had the, you know, the Hello Fresh that we've been doing. Yeah. Tonight, tonight was Shepherd's Pie, so it was a little oh. late tonight. Michaela made it. We weren't gonna make it. I was just gonna have leftovers from work, or whatever. Had some decent stuff, but then yeah, we it was like, man, we'll just. She already was making it. I was like, okay, we'll do Shepherd's Pie. So it's late dinner tonight. <laughs> yeah. And if you, our listener, wish to make Shepherd's Pie as well, you can get. To- <laughs> <laughs> I, our wish. Sponsor. <laughs> I wish dude. hello fresh i will say that, it's been actually awesome i'm not gonna lie oh that's it, good mm-hmm. it's uh it's it's uh a good excuse for me to cook again even though the shepherd's oh. pie was an easy way out and michaela did it to me <laughs> <laughs> well you know it's it's but all right it's yeah. it was a fucking good shepherd's pie let me tell you oh i bet I, bet I was fucking very tasty. Yeah. Hey, you should send Tyler or send me on Discord or something so I can show Tyler on Snapchat or Discord or something. Fuck yeah. Yeah, no. Send, send, send it. it. That'd yeah, be yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, um, I think I want to uh, start recording the HelloFresh meals that we get. Yeah. So I can just upload it since I want to do cooking anyway. And that will give me a reason to start uploading to like YouTube. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Rather than needing to mince meat and butchered stuff from stream that I don't feel like doing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, no, I get you, that. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How's your uh, everything going, I guess I should say? My everything. Uh, uh, my yeah. everything's going good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Between your board game, the show that you're working on, that's going to take a whole fucking year to produce. Mm, Are you yeah. talking about that on here or... Yeah, no, um, I've been talking about it on here. So, okay. yeah, no, um, the board game's going good. I just got um, sixty of the cards onto like the little sheet. So, like with like the name, the ability, the cost, the subtype, and everything like on the card. So, and I have it on the sheets, ready to to go. Um, I have about fifty more to do that mm-hmm. I can hopefully get done by the end of the day tomorrow, mm-hmm. and then. Yeah. I really just need the fucking board. <laughs> <laughs> so are you still gonna are you relying on Braden on it for that? No. <laughs> um, yeah, well, you know, no. fair enough. I'm gonna ask fair his enough. grandpa because his grandpa actually will do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. I love him to death. I love him to death, but there's no way that's getting done in any sort of amount of like feasible time for me to you know, you know, get it play tested <laughs> soon. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh no, it's all good, man. Like that part of me knew, to be yeah. honest. Like when I was like, "Hey, you know, if you could have this done by like January or something," and then like I like I knew who's gonna forget. Like, yeah, right. Doesn't matter. I get, it. Yeah. I, I get it. I get it. I don't know. I don't know. He, he's Braden. <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah, you know, I can't. And like, I, don't know, I wasn't planning on like paying him like a bunch. I was gonna yeah, maybe a little, but. All right, like what I can afford. <laughs> so yeah, right. That's why you're to just do it for free. So like, that's why you were trying to do it as cheap as possible with whatever yes. he was doing. Yeah, yeah, like I did. I didn't need anything crazy. Like I said, it just needs to be, you know, simple. There we go. Maybe. Uh, but yeah. 
So, um, other than that, the show that I'm writing is going good. I have the first episode pretty much written out. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, as soon as I get the other nine finished and written out, I'll start filming the the first one. And oh my god, <laughs> I am the the amount of work that goes in for like a production like that and like the yeah. team and everything. Oh, dude, that's crazy. I was like. Um, Oh, dude! I how regular YouTube YouTubers do this on like a co- like daily basis, and yeah, it's how they crazy. plan out everything, man, is nuts. Like, it's I don't. Not, it's not easy. Oh, I guess I should turn on the light. But the, I mean, like when you hear, I mean, just this year alone, you've heard about a good chunk of YouTubers who are retiring because mm-hmm. of that kind of shit. You know what I mean? And why a lot of them yeah. wanted those content creators who are also on Twitch, they're pretty much just staying on Twitch or whatever streaming thing they're using. Yeah, they're just doing streaming because, like, I mean, <laughs> fuck. Like, that's what I would do too. It could be one time I'd be like, yeah. See, hear, yeah. hear, hear, hear this. In 10 years, guys, once Hard Homies is done, we're just streaming Twitch and we're only playing Truck Sim. <laughs> oh, sick. Yeah, dude. That's yeah, what I'm dude. saying. And you'll have a community for that kind of thing. And it's, Yeah, exactly. And they'll love it. Yeah. You guys will love it every uh, every every day that we do that. Um, I will say I've been playing uh Pal Worlds. Um, I don't know if you've jumped on that train yet. I have not. Um, I've heard a lot though. So I actually didn't care for it. I mean, I've never played a Pokemon game up until now. Um, so we'll put it that way. Um yeah. and I already have 21 hours into it, and I have been streaming it. Um so okay. I haven't done anything with the video because to be honest with you, it's fucking grindy. It's grindy, grindy yeah. as fuck. You can change all that, but I just did what they set for recommend, you know, standard. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a fun game. I don't know. I mean, it's it feels like it's a pretty much a finished game for being an alpha, yeah. <laughs> an alpha release. You know. Oh, that's fucking dope. That's sick. Um, but have you heard the controversy between? That the whole and, AI shit, yeah. yeah, yeah, and then them getting in. Well, they're not. I mean, Nintendo's obviously caught wind of it, but oh, like, yeah. they're from what I understand, they're not gonna do anything about it. <laughs> well, I heard that they tried but couldn't. Like they yeah. couldn't sue them. I think one of the th- reasons for that is because of it being in the U.S. from the creators and just different country issues. And it's probably just different enough that it like. Yeah, oh, some sort of like copyright law to the to the T's, my guess. And I'm so assuming that's what they are going off of. I don't yeah. know, but it's a fun game. It's solid. Yeah. Michaela's been playing Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, dude, that game is perfect. I fucking love that game. What is that? Oh, Michaela is trying to show me this. Oh, oh. Shit. Bazooka bubblegum. Oh like god damn, dude. Yeah, I've not oh. seen that forever. Yo. That's cool. Dollar Tree had that. Of course Dollar Tree does. God yeah, damn. Of course. Yeah, everything from like my childhood <laughs> in there. Like god damn. <laughs> Bazooka Zooka bubblegum. Hell yeah. Some good ass bubblegum right there. Dude, oh, you no. want to hear something fucking crazy I found out about my skin? Yeah. What? So, um, I was getting some touch-ups done by uh, my tattoo artist, Will, and mm. we, uh, so we ended up fixing this one a little bit. Um, it looks gross because the second skin's on there, but, mm-hmm. um, right. so the reason why he did, had to do some touch-ups or felt like he had to, he didn't really have to, yeah. um, was because the black on it didn't stay dark. And like for every piece that he's done, that's been black on my skin. He's like, it looks like it fades out super quickly. And I don't think that you're out the sun all that long. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I, I'm not. <laughs> no, 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 no. But that tells me, cause do you understand how tattoos work? Like biologically, like when they go into your skin, dug the, 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 the ink that gets pushed into your skin, essentially all the cells build a wall around it. Yes. Uh, to keep it from seeping into your body, right? Yeah. Uh, but that just tells me that your body is better at processing t- tattoo ink than anyone else, or you know that I've heard of personally. So that means your body can literally process it and get rid of it faster. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's that, and then um, 
So redheads have mm. more pheomelanin oh, than okay. other types. What that means is darker colors are going to essentially disappear on me, which is why my hair, whenever we dyed it black, the next month it turned right back. Yeah, it was just like there. it was nothing. Um, <laughs> now, red, the color red or whites, which mm-hmm. you probably can't see it all too well on this one. Yeah. But you can see the highlights much mm-hmm. better than you can see the the black ink yes right and so we find and like the red that's been done on my leg for like a couple of years ago still as vibrant as the day it was put on no shit yeah dude so that means i could technically go get like colored tattoo like fucking sparkly shit and it will stay colorful forever uh, that's huge though that's i know cool. right like it's crazy <laughs> but, but what are you gonna get you, do you know you don't have any colored ones right now huh? i don't know <laughs> Honestly, I really like the, the black and white art too. Which is so well, that's bad. the thing. That's the thing because the black and white, especially on human like white us, you know, especially redheads, yeah. it just looks so much nicer. <laughs> it does, yeah. Like it, it looks real nice. Mm. Um, but I, I have, I do have an idea of like getting like a blood moon or like <sighs> something done like on my back, like yo, like, like real cool, yeah. So yes, that would because be I so- found that out. So I still haven't bit the bullet and figured out what tattoo I want to get. Dude, as I soon just, as you're here, I'll just I'll take you to my buddy and you'll get tattooed. Honestly, like, it'll be something sh- fucking dumb. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 just get it out of the way. That way, I can get some else I want to get. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you mm. just yeah, you gotta knock out your first. It's like uh, mm. losing your V card. You know, you just mm. you knock it out, <laughs> get it done, cry a little bit fuck up your butt <laughs> <laughs> all in sequence the tattoo artist will go over with you yeah you, t- you tell <laughs> uncle jimmy that this is a fun <laughs> night <laughs> you yep. say thank you sir <laughs> <laughs> and afterwards instead of you tipping it he, tip tipping your tattoo artist he'll tip you you know yeah you know, just a little yeah. bit you know, just, talk, <laughs> just a little bit pegging <laughs> um <clears throat> but yeah so that was that was cool um i also kind of want to get uh, like if I just like on my leg somewhere, just get like a uh, a dot of like each color, mm-hmm. um, like equally saturated on on my skin, and just see which one fades out the mm-hmm. fastest and which one stays like the the crispest. And you should do that on a part, a couple parts, right? Like one on your arm, one on your back, one on your leg. <laughs> yeah, and I can like take a picture every day and just like be like, okay, flip through each day and just see yeah. like how it. Yeah, like that fades would, that'd be kind of cool it's like a science experiment man that's my actually body. a good way to test it actually yeah <laughs> my dad is only my dad has only ever gotten one tattoo that i know of and oh. it's really one i still haven't asked him about it but it's on the inside of his hand and it's huh. of the eiffel tower and it's like it looks now it looks like just a little like yeah it's probably done well, yeah. the inside of your hand it, it, like the ink will just go away go away yeah not yeah. like the inside inside but like on the back here. like like right here yeah probably because yeah, the yeah. artist was like yeah okay at the very least i'm doing it here because then it'll kind of stay but like yeah. anything <laughs> past that midpoint anything like past to like be really honest with you, here. it kind of looks like somebody took a blue ball pipe pen and fucking poke sticked him. Oh, which very damn. well, very well could have been the case, but I, yeah. I, 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 I never asked. <laughs> oh shit, dude! Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see here. I don't know. It's crazy. I never realized this, but I don't think my mother has any tattoos. My brother doesn't have any tattoos. My mm. half brother Tyler, he has a whole bunch of tattoos. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's just because that's my family and I just never cared for it. But yeah, I, guess, I, I mean, if it's not like a big deal, you're not going to be like thinking about it. Yeah, exactly. But I do want to get one. And this is why I've put it off for so long is because I want to get one in honor of my mother when she yeah. passed away. And I have a million ideas of how I want to fucking portray that, you know, and I just don't know where I want to put it or which design I want to settle on kind of thing. Right on your ass. <laughs> right on the left cheek. Honestly, yeah, on the she left would, cheek. Honestly, she would laugh. She would, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Mama Short was always a funny one. She she like jokes. <laughs> yes. A couple times I met her. <laughs> I mean, she, she uh, I mean, her special like, seven ten layer jello recipe that i love 
yeah. that she used to make for Thanksgiving. I think, have I ever told you about that? I don't know if I ever told you about that recipe. No, I think you've made it for us before, haven't you? you I thought you brought it over maybe, for, maybe. Um, like when yeah, we I, invited you over for, uh, it, it wasn't quite Thanksgiving dinner, but it was like. It was for something and we were hanging out, right? And it might have so. been my brother's birthday. Mm, uh, I'm sure I've made it before. Anyway, it's yeah. her recipe, but in her college days when she would make it, when the whipped cream would be on top, she used to sprinkle cocaine on top. Oh hell yeah, dude! dude. dude. Hell yeah! <laughs> and I didn't dude, find she partied. God damn. <laughs> she partied. She partied hard. Let me tell you. And hell I didn't yeah. find that out until oh maybe a year before she passed away. And it was Holy probably one, shit. maybe two years. It was one of the last Thanksgivings we ever had as like a family, family, even like with grandparents and extended family kind of thing. Yeah, and we were all talking about it, and we we're in um, uh, the Jello, and I was like, I just fucking love this stuff. It's like crack. I can't tell you. <laughs> and I made that joke, and Jalen snickered and piped in and started talking about it. And my mom goes, No, shut up, Jalen. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> he, him, he didn't need to know. <laughs> Shit, he, he's a baby, you know. And I yeah. laughed about it. I was like, What, mother? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh it my is. god. A good story. <laughs> oh, is Braden going to join us? He's probably going to miss the whole episode. How much you want uh, bet? I don't think he's going to miss the whole episode, but he did ask us how how late we wanted to be on. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a good indicator. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Oh. Michaela did bring up something that I think I've mentioned, or we have, you and I have mentioned. We, oh, yeah, we've tried it before, actually, and then Braden didn't want to do it. I, I remember now. We, that we should do longer sessions. Maybe we should do like one or two sessions to have a couple extra prepped yeah, episodes. And ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I and agree. The, it, sorry, not to cut you off. No, to no, finish you're good. my statement here. It, I think it would do us good in the long run because it gives us more time to get comfortable. Yeah. And if we run it for like even just an extra hour for another episode per week or whatever, or yeah. not like in addition, just a backlog. Yeah, um, it would help us in a lot of ways in that terms of like talking and synergy and all that kind of fun shit. Anyway. Oh, definitely. I, I feel like Brayden gets done by the end of the first hour. Yeah, though. Like he's it, like, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> it's grinding his, uh, uh, pulling his teeth trying to get it done, and I get it. You know, and yeah, maybe maybe we could just go like uh, two days in a row, you know, or like three days in a row instead or something. Because like, I mean. Oh, I'm I'm only, free by nine thirty my time every day. So yeah, me too, pretty much. Um, unless I'm streaming, but I really have it. It's maybe one or two days right now. Maybe we could do like a a I've, uh, Twitch actually, stream yes. like live stream so, episode. I've thought about that. I'm not gonna lie, and I've thought about some of the days when we were recording, and I was already streaming like an hour beforehand. I was like, I'll just leave this on. Yeah, and you know what I mean. A little, little sneak peek for, 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 the, for the boys, for the fans. That would actually be cool. That'd that would be, be cool. A good idea because then it'd give incentive for people who want to actually watch us to come in and say hi. Yeah. Um, we may not necessarily always have to have viewer engagement depending on what we're doing. Um, mm -hmm. But then, it, uh, and obviously, we can still have content that still gets uploaded. Yeah. And so that's. That would be great, Ooh, dude. What I if we, um, what if we did like a live stream for, um, and eventually, eventually, this can be like a Patreon tier too. So, like, say you're on the Patreon, we do like a private, like little Twitch stream, and so they get like an invite and they can join us, um, um, and they, you know, like we can like have them on and like discuss with them. What I was thinking would be kind of fun though, is what if we did like an adv an advice like live stream. Yeah. Like it was just the worst advice possible. <laughs> yes. Like, yes. Yes. Nothing is a straight answer. <laughs> yeah. Nothing is a straight answer. Um, mm. What you, what we're going to give you is absolutely terrible. So if you actually do it, you're going to ruin your life. Not but, to, not to, to, to ruin your idea, but I'm 90% sure distractible did that. <laughs> fuck it. Are you serious? God damn it. 
right. They did, they did a whole bit about it of uh, <sighs> giving advice, and it was not good advice. Well, yeah, they were not actually, advice. <sighs> they, yeah, like pretty much. They were actually, I think it was Wade hosting, and Wade was trying to do a serious thing in that regard. And Block <laughs> and Bob just kept giving them belligerent answers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny. Yeah, it was. Oh, actually, man, that is good. <laughs> but I say we could still do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, for sure. Let's. Um, <coughs> dude, we, we, we should totally send it. We should just do it one of these nights. Just fucking go. Mm-hmm. I agree. Uh, um, and I'll be sure to get. Uh, <coughs> Stop looking at me. <laughs> well, you're just standing in the middle of the living room. This is what I do. <laughs> Sorry, she's. I just cut. Saw her in the corner of my eye, and she's just standing in the living room looking at her phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, sorry about the thumbnails, by the way. I will oh, dude, sure don't worry about it. Like, it's like not a big deal. <sighs> I know, I, I know, but I do need to crack down on working on them more. I'm not behind, I'm like two episodes behind, dude, yeah. Like, anyway, at this point, like, who cares, man? <laughs> like, yeah, chill. but I have noticed that the thumbnails do do better. They do for, get more for, views or more yeah. clicks anyway. More clicks. Yeah. yeah. The impressions um, are definitely higher. So, mm-hmm. but at the yeah. same time, it's like, mm-hmm. you know, we're growing mm-hmm. our audience right now. We're still in the very early stages. Mm-hmm. I mean, it takes most people, what, like two, three years before they even get up to like a thousand. Mm-hmm. And then even then they're just starting to get like consistent and like the way that they have their production, like and their content, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, so well, we're, it, yeah, we're still trying to get our footing for like the content that we do as a group together. Yeah, we're not even like in a year either, <laughs> man. So like we gotta, <laughs> that's we gotta crazy. Cut ourselves some slack, okay, you know? Yeah, fair. I feel like it's been going on forever now, but it hasn't been that long. Yeah, no. Uh, <clears throat> we're like thirty something episodes. I mean, we're getting close to a year. We're getting close to the year mark. Mm-hmm. When did we start? Do you know? Uh, I want to say August, right? Was it, was it August or or it might have been cool. July? You know what? Fuck it. Like, yeah, if you want to check real quick, episode one release date. And then when <laughs> it was like probably like a week before that when we recorded. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, she felt the need to give me Oreo. Oh, hi, Oreo. Hi. Even. Yeah, but she don't like me holding her. Oh. She don't. She's not a lap kitty. She, she not a lap see how, kitty. See how tense she is right now. Yeah, I know you just want lovings, but you also don't like to be held. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, historical corals, and then we just scroll down. Oh, you have your own podcast tab. Yeah, and I do. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole. But that wasn't started until like. Um, I started. Uh, that's that happened way after we had already begun. I shouldn't say way after. Only like a few months after we started, but still. So Reddit ADHD and assassins. Oh my, that was the first one. That was the first one. Oh man, and that was six months ago. So half a year. Oh my god, mm-hmm. half a year ago. Mm-hmm. That is uh, mm-hmm. man. <laughs> six months yeah six months in we're you know <sighs> we're already trying to give ourselves you know too too, too much of like a, uh, too like much. a ceiling well, I, yeah, yeah okay that's exactly what it is yeah and i and i do that too much like yeah uh even today work we're getting busy again or at least this week is busier and we had a lot to do today and uh Everyone was just in a bad mood, which put everyone else in each other in a worse mood. <laughs> yeah, that will happen. Yeah, and it's just like, God, I am just so tired of it playing out like that. You know what I mean? No, yeah, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> I know exactly. What, like when I have a customer that calls me all grumpy about something that mm-hmm. I have no control over. Or yeah. They went and like ordered something online and they're like, why isn't this like working this way? And I'm like, well, first of all, you ordered it online. <laughs> You didn't order it through me, so you, it's fucking that sucks. Man. Yeah, yeah. You needed to do the fine print here a little bit. I, not yeah. even fine print. It's right there. We tell yeah. you. Yes. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> and like if they would have consulted me, you know, their consultant mm-hmm. for that specific industry that I'm in. 
then mm-hmm. they would have understood some stuff. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. exactly. but instead, they're like, no, nah, let's just buy. <laughs> Which I'm like, cool, easy sale, don't mind, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, at least it works out for you in that favor, for you in that way. Um, Until it bites me in the ass later. But yeah, yeah. fair. But I, I always just get like the same people that come through and then they have an attitude because they they know that the rest of the people uh, that I work with are usually in a bad mood. So they think yeah. they have to just dish it out that way. Every time they come up to the counter, oh, God damn. it's like, God, it just stop. Yeah. <laughs> like the other day, uh, although I felt bad for the guy, I should say a guy was drunk, like hammered. He just got done at the bar and mm-hmm. we just closed at seven. We go, we close at seven. He shows up half an hour later. Nothing's in the haunt case. Everything's either thrown away or put it back in the case for the next day or whatever. Yeah. Um, and then we don't have nothing out and ready for him, you know? And I was like, sorry, <laughs> we're closed, but we do yeah. have some pre-made meals, literally just a couple of feet away that we make, um, which is some, a lot of the same foods that we sell in the hot case that he just got to take home and reheat. Yeah. Um, and I showed him that and the guy for like 10, 15 minutes was really angry and just drunk angry. Cause he wanted food mm-hmm. and he was hungry and I didn't care. That didn't even bother me <clears throat> until, uh, he kept trying to pull me away from the counter while I'm trying to finish up with the closing stuff. Yeah. Uh, like I'm going to help fix his situation with the food. <laughs> yeah. And so he finally gives in, goes over and grab the food. And then he comes back to the counter. Oh, thank you so much for helping me. I really appreciate it. I was like, yeah, yeah no problem, buddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he's just fucking, I mean, he's like barely standing. I'm telling you. God damn. And, then, and he goes, as, and then he starts trauma dumping on me. And no, he starts oh, dude, that's his- the fucking worst. <laughs> Uh, for like 10 minutes and i'm glad that's all it was and i was like i'm sorry to hear that man and i'm not to to be mean to cut you short i still have a lot to do for closing and getting stuff you know i'm trying my best not to uh, like this make this man cry yeah Yeah. well yeah (laughs) you know and then finally he goes okay Thank you for listening. I said, no problem, man. You have a connect. <laughs> God damn. And I'm pretty sure he was still in the store for another 30 minutes by the time. Holy I- <laughs> shit, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it was one of those. <laughs> oh, man. That reminds me of like being in the store um, in PG when I went for the company that I work for. Mm-hmm. And fucking just have some customers come in and just be like, yeah, so like... My father died today, and I'm like, "Well, oh, Jesus Christ!" Yeah, yeah like, that was a great way to start my morning. So uh, I just opened the doors. Thank you. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like wow, wow. And, uh, like I feel so bad because like I'm being inconvenienced by their grief, which yes. is like so fucked up. Like, like, the you think about it, like, yes. like yeah, I'm an asshole for feeling that, but I don't know when I've had some. <sighs> Deep shit trouble me. I only uh, only make my friends feel bad because that's what <laughs> friends are for. <laughs> so, exactly. I don't go up to random strangers and be like, "Yeah, my dad died." Oh. <laughs> because then you put them in. Because then you put them in the a situation like they're the asshole. Oh yeah, they're supposed to act like they care. And yes. It's like, it's like I no. didn't know your dad. I don't know you. <laughs> I feel nothing for you. <laughs> like, it's like I'm sorry. Like I get it, but Jesus Christ, I don't want to hear this today. I've already yeah. heard it the last week. <laughs> today is not the day. Okay. No. Nope. Today's the is... day that I kill somebody. <laughs> yeah. It's like hey, you're lucky. You're lucky your dad's already dead. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Oh my god. God damn that, it. That reminds me of another story. We had a coworker who works at the drug section. Lewis is what it's called. It's like the drug. And like, you know, medicine and like, then they got like sports, grilling, yeah. uh, all that kind of things, you know, outside of this grocery store. Anyway, it was a lady, a very nice lady. She used to come through the deli all the time. And then her husband died. Damn. Um, so she actually quit because she had a psychotic break um, yeah. and she was going crazy. And uh, and then she comes back a couple months later 
and like regularly every like other day or whatever because uh for from what i can tell it was just a way for her to get out and just not think about it you know yeah. which i can i get and it, it is what it is but then uh it didn't bother me or my coworkers so much um other than i could tell that she was having a hard time with it personally mm-hmm. so i honestly had felt bad for her yeah um but the rest of the older ladies who were just the same age as her or not older weren't as being as forgiving. <laughs> oh god! And damn. so they were still being rude, and I honestly felt awkward about the whole thing. Wait, were they making like dead husband jokes? Like, no. Oh yeah, got damn just- fucking <laughs> <laughs> life then insurance I- money. You rolling deep? <laughs> god damn, Becky. <laughs> I know you ain't actually crazy. You just oh. making that crazy for that insurance, aren't I you? I fucking wish that would have been a better conversation, <laughs> knowing them. Um, but it was just the same negative uh, bullshit that they always do. Negative drama, and then yeah. when they're already in the bad mood. Uh, so, for example, like their actions speak louder than words usually. So when somebody comes up to the counter and they're taking. Uh, they have the styrofoam to go containers and the plates that are for here on the next to each other that's set on top of the hot case for when people come up. So we're serving people. We try to be as polite as we can, but obviously when we're in bad mood, we can tell with the tone just by itself. Yeah. But then uh, a lot of the older ladies, uh, they'll just stay quiet and grumpy while they're helping them, waiting for them to say something for what they want rather than trying to ask for what they were wanting to get, you know, oh, in of a course. polite way. Does that make yeah. sense? Yes. And then, uh, while they're doing it, they uh, ask them if they it's for here to go, uh, and then they'll grab the to go plate or whatever, and they'll do it. They'll angrily pick mm-hmm. it up, put it down yeah. by their side, and they'll look at them and just be like, "You're waiting for them to decide what are you gonna get?" You know, oh, shit. wait for them to answer, trying to rush them along, and then the whole time you can tell the customer's getting pissed off now. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> and, and trying like- to trying to rush them out, and it's like this every day. I'm Every not, day, dude. Yeah. Oh shit, man! You, you got some oh. other anger issues. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. if that, yes. if that, like, gets you to the end of your rope, you've got some serious problems you need to work through. Like, you gotta <laughs> chill the fuck out. Like, do some shrooms or something. I don't know. Yeah. Like, go on a trip. Yeah. Fucking explore yeah. yourself. Realize, like, maybe, the, uh, maybe other, you yeah. just need to rationalize that. No, what Uncle Jimbo did <laughs> was wrong. <laughs> and it's not your fault <laughs> and i agree i think every single one of them have their own issues especially because most of them are in their 70s 80s you mm-hmm. know and so they have that generation of not getting their, help. their husbands beat them that, yes that, they're from that generation yeah. <laughs> yes i guarantee it yes beat them silly yes and so uh there's that problem but the biggest issue is the company itself and then the owner and then it's a family run business half the people are related the yeah. other half have known each other since high school yeah. and it's just family and family related drama and it's oh, yeah. usually one it's just one thing after another fucking that's the worst man family fam, they, when the business is a family get the fuck yes. out of there as soon as you can man <laughs> like goddamn like and shit. i'm going on my almost third year <laughs> Props to you, dude. Props to you. That is rough. Proud of you, man. That, the, that it, you stuck it through. You are a hard ass worker. Because <laughs> like, yeah, the problem is uh, me being South Dakota, so I'm foreign. I don't really know this area. I don't know what really I could do my research, which would, would help. The problem is the food industry kind of gets shafted in terms of a reasonable employment and money unless you work for a nice restaurant or you're a private person who cooks for somebody, you know, private yep. chef. And so because of that, um, the company that I work for, believe it or not, it's probably the most money that I could work for in South Dakota, being one of the best catering companies, one of the biggest catering companies, I say best, biggest in South Dakota. So they Mm -hmm. have a monopoly on the money on the market with with how they run it. Um, And they I get paid more from them than any job that I had. And then I also get uh, tips deli tips that accumulates every couple months and she just hands me five six hundred dollars no oh, that's it, nice it's hard to turn my nose to that when uh that's a good chunk of change <laughs> i mean yeah no that's fucking nice man like i then, I'd have a hard time too yeah Shit. and then and then every once in a while i'll go on catering jobs and i'll usually make some good money from that or 
Uh, I've been doing a lot of deliveries like I used to do with DoorDash in tandem because she knows I do that and I'll get tips from that on top of my regular hourly paid job rather than needing to rely on tips for that kind yeah. of thing. Well, hell yeah, man. Good, so, good, good on you. <laughs> working, fucking working hard. Like, yeah. This, hell yeah. So I feel like we've hit a happy medium, low medium of where we can tolerate each other. But then once things get past that, it's just becomes uh, anger <laughs> towards yeah. everybody and each other. And yes, hmm. Yeah. It's rough. Yeah, I can, yeah, I can tell. Oh, God. Anyway, not, I, that went from one whole thing to another, so I apologize. No, dude. No, dude. Get it out, man. This is what this is for. It's, yeah, that's true, uh, actually. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, you blow off some steam. Fuck. That's, uh, I mean, mm. I use this to talk about random shit, and mm-hmm. uh, the random shit helps me blow off steam, to be honest. So. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, oh, Fuck. Well, um, Baldur's Gate 3. Michaela liking it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you liking Baldur's Gate 3? Yeah. <laughs> She's having... W- w- what would you say? You're having a hard time with the... Uh... Paper battle. Yeah. So the battle mechanics are a little difficult. Yes, yeah, so that's probably the main thing she's having an issue with. And since I'm at work a lot, she doesn't get through it as much as she would like. Mm. <laughs> but you're having fun with it mostly, right? What would you rate it? Maybe seven, seven out of ten. Mm. Not bad. Lower Consider- than most people. Yeah, Considering that's- she hit, well, <laughs> the reason for that is because she also doesn't like the isometric view. She hates oh, games like those. Yeah. She can't stand them actually. Um, but because you can of how- adjust it so it's um, not exactly first person, but like it's less isometric, so it's more like um top side oh, you can change it so it's more of a top side by the way top yeah. side view oh okay i guess she knows that okay okay turn base oh she don't like the turn based i see no, turn based yeah turn based fighting is i mean i mean that's D in the whole though that's like yeah and i think yeah. she understands that um but coming from her perspective, especially when it comes to gaming, it's uh, D&D, the whole thing aspect of it is right up her alley. But yeah. a lot of the game mechanics, I think I can see why she's having a hard time with that. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, it takes time to learn. Mm-hmm. It's not something. It really does. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's good. I honestly haven't started playing it. I've been kind of hyper fixating on Power of Worlds. No, I guess it fucking, yeah, take your time. Uh, <laughs> But uh, you will play it when you are here in Utah. I, I'm still <laughs> oh, am I? Yeah. Yeah, like, <laughs> like you and I are going to be doing like a full on hardcore Baldur's Gate, playthrough. Baldur's yeah. Gate run. Yes, yeah. I, I would love to. Hey, I will I, resurrect the shit out of you every time you die. <laughs> <laughs> we should do uh, like a drinking Baldur's Gate series Dude, type of thing. That would be that'd fun. Be like, that'd oh be my cool. god. <laughs> drunk gate or fucking dr- drinking gates <laughs> yes <laughs> we'll come up with a good name yeah yes there you go figure something out that'd be a fun like little twitch series like a little yes. streaming. yeah oh yeah and then we could just live stream it and then fucking just be drinking i don't know what the qualifiers for that would be but that'd be that'd be fun yeah dude, dude just, yeah i don't know listen uh, listeners you guys can join us on those uh Every uh, weeknight at... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you caught, caught that, Michaela, but uh, Tyler's going to force me to play Ballish Gate when we move back to It's Utah. about damn time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. It will happen. <laughs> I love that game. That game is perfect to me. Mm. Like, it, I, I love D&D. Like, I mean, fucking... <laughs> look. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fantastic dude. game, honestly. No, oh, and dude, it, it's so good. And honestly, it's a good segue for uh, any person who wants to get into games and people who want to get into D&D. Yeah. It's just such a, I mean, everything about it is awesome. Dude, I am positive there has been like Critical Role caused a bunch of new players to come to the scene. I'm positive Baldur's Gate has caused even more players to start like popping into D&D. Yes. Critical so, Role. I haven't watched them for a while. I should catch back uh, up on them. Oh, dude, it's fun. I like their, I like season three or their campaign three is really fun. I don't really. Um, 
Well, yeah, at least there's been some little gripes, gripes about it, like saying like, oh, the characters are just going on too many side quests or like they're not like. Oh, sure. But that's their whole thing now is to get people in and they're good at storytelling. And that's their, that's what they, uh, that's what they do. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I, I just fucking. I don't know. It just feels like people are like wanting it to be more streamlined. Like how s- season oh, two is a little, a bit more like a bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Yeah, like, yeah. They have a sequence. Uh, campaign later. two. The Mighty Nine was really good. That was a uh, that was a ton of fun to watch. So, so I I uh, I really have been watching. I've been watching some YouTube. I'm in the same main stuff, but I've been watching shows. A lot of shows. Yeah. Uh, and I've been watching uh, Has Been Hotel. If you haven't joined that train yet. Um, ever since like I heard about that animator who like basically made like a porn parody of himself being uh, with like what? the main girl of that. Oh, have you not heard about that? What? No. Okay, explain. I don't remember the name of the guy, but essentially some like animator on YouTube um what made a parody of oh, uh, or like he he does like little wait, like song wait, edits. Wait, but wait, yes, I've heard about this, and he paid some ridiculous amount of money, right? Yeah, he paid like 50 grand or something to make this. And then he ended up like th- sh- throwing it away, like shelving it because it got too risque. Like, uh, mm. and then the video ended up getting leaked. And essentially it was like his, um, um, oh, uh, OC, like his yeah. OC, his animated OC was like strapped on a bed and like the has been hotel, like main chick mm-hmm. was about to like, I R- didn't realize R-word him. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't realize that was in correlation. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, but aside from that, because that's wild, uh, I recommend you watch it. <laughs> yeah, is it good? Dude, oh my God. Because you like musicals, right? Yeah, I it's, love musicals. It's been this first uh, section of musical stuff and uh, songs that I have liked, genuinely liked, like as a child level crazy Damn. Uh, I haven't enjoyed a show like this since I was a kid. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll put it that way. The, every song is a fucking banger. Dude, dude hell yeah. All right. <laughs> I You could watch uh, all eight episodes right now within a day. So okay. Um, okay. if you ever yeah, get any, any free time, I recommend watching it. I mean, I... I Get on my hands and knees for the show. <laughs> yeah, I get you. We just got done watching um, the first season of True Detective. Oh, sure. Uh, I've heard of McConaughey that. and Woody Har- Har- Harrelson. Oh, okay. Like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, they they get they get away from me, and uh, I drive a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> I've been driving a Lincoln since. So, what do you oh, think of that? Cool driving Lincoln. Uh, oh, that mo- that show was really fucking good. Um. Yeah, season one was amazing. Uh, we haven't uh, started season two yet, but I've heard like essentially seasons two um, and four yeah. shit. Uh, three is all right, but really yeah. interesting. Yeah, what but is season one is like about near perfect. Um, it's these two detectives who essentially got put onto uh, a murder case. Um, so, like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait sorry. So, you start the first episode. With b- both Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey's characters recounting mm-hmm. events to these other two new detectives. So essentially, this is like the present day. And then mm-hmm. they go through their story in the past of them like investigating this murder. And then you slowly find out that there's a bunch of like interconnected um, people in the police department who's been like helping this family essentially cover up a bunch of crimes. Mm-hmm. And so, like, the, one of the detect- detectives has to go rogue, and there's a bunch of, like, relationship drama. It's just really interesting, and it's really oh, well I done. I so, yeah. That, it's like a okay. classic, you know, rogue cop. Um, like, mm. you, you give me your gun and your badge right now, sir. <laughs> like, like a modern day fucking... Yeah, and he's like, fuck you, here's my badge. I don't need it. I'm gonna go yeah. save the town anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need your shit, god damn it. Yeah, fucking yeah. Murdoch. Yeah, but yeah. it's it's really well done, and it's... uh. The characters, the dynamics between them, and how, like how they interact is just—it's really engaging, and it's—it's uh, it's yeah. a lot of fun. Um, it's the same yeah, way Woody Harrelson's it. character is a bastard, but like, he, like you love to hate him. Like it's yes. just yes, it's so yes. good. That's how I feel with because uh, you know who you know who Alex Brightman is, right? 
Oh, the name sounds familiar. He's a musical dude, and he was on uh, uh, for Beetlejuice recently, the latest uh, live action. Like of long, it. kind of black hair. Like, yeah. Or, well, uh, like he had it dyed red at like one point, right? Yeah, maybe. Alex, I'm not sure because he I do only... like raps and stuff. Like, no. No. Oh no, I'm thinking of someone completely different. I thought you did like a collab with like iDubs, but I'm probably thinking no, of someone no, no, different. No, 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 no. He's something else, but he's a big Broadway Broadway nerd too. Okay. Cool. Um uh, la la la. I'll like, show you at some point here. But anyway, uh, he's uh one of the main villains, Adam. It's a religious show. I don't know if you know about it. I say religious. Or you could say anti religious. I don't yeah. know what to call it. But it's their own take because it's about had heaven and hell and then you got adam eve and how that happened and they're yeah. telling the story from the perspective in hell oh, um, cool. and all the characters but the same thing the dynamic the fluidity of everything all the characters are fucking so well done yeah uh, um and some people you could argue it might be too uh uh what's the word sacrilegious you could say that, um, but I mean, like in the sense of when a show is eighteen uh, plus and it, it swears a lot, or it's uh, talks about heavy subjects, or uh, just a like, little too much, you know? Yeah, like, a little too heavy sometimes it can be, yeah. you know. Um, but they do this in a very good way. But they, that's about as much of an argument I see people having with the show as anything else, you know? Yeah. Um. Fucking. Oh, dude, you want to talk about a heavy movie? Have you seen The Iron Claw? Uh, Zach I've, heard, I've heard dude, of it, Dude, Maddie and I went and watched that. I fucking cried like a little bitch. Really? Dude, <laughs> it was so sad. Oh, man. I got... Oh, dude. <laughs> so I have heard nothing about this, that movie until it came out, and then everyone was talking about it and how everyone didn't want to watch it after they did. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I probably can't watch that again, man. That one emotionally <laughs> yeah. wrecked me. But it was is- so like every moment from that movie has stuck in my mind. Like it is. <laughs> Oh, it is good. It is real good. Like that is like Oscar worthy performance by Zach and fucking, yeah. yeah, it was uh That's how I feel with the songs in uh Has Been Hotel. They've been stuck in my head for the last fucking couple of weeks. God damn. God damn, that's impressive. What you sent me something? On Discord or TikTok? This is pretty good, though, no? Oh, yeah, no, dude. This is one of the less, like, awesome songs. So we'll go to that one. Wow, okay, that's like, what was it like? (laughs) Dude. So you can imagine how the rest of them, yeah. Damn, um, damn, they know their shit for like making music and writing it. God damn. Yeah. So if Baldur's Gate is going to be your thing that you're going to make me do, if you haven't watched Has Been by the time I get out there, I'm making you watch it. All right, fair <laughs> enough. That's fair. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll watch Has Been. You be playing Baldur's just, Gate, like <laughs> except the endeavor of the time that's going to take between both of them is one day to a month. <laughs> you have no fucking clue. A thousand hours before you really get everything done. Yeah, right. No, um, I'm, I'm talking on your first playthrough, man. Although, like to to be fair, though, not to get you off, say, yeah, uh, no, there, there's still going to be more episodes, so we'll, we'll we'll have some more to play with that, I guess. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> we do like a little watch party, man. That'd be fun. Yeah. Oh, that would be cool, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, but the Baldur's Gate three, I'm excited to play. But the reason I haven't jumped the gun on playing it is the amount of shit to do. <laughs> it's a lot it is a lot but uh, like if you have me or like someone else who knows what they're doing hell even right. at this point maddie's like an expert so like <laughs> that's yeah, awesome no, Mad- maddie got real good at the game <laughs> um yeah no don't it, it makes things easier i'll guide you oh, be gentle. <laughs> oh yeah at first that's what they all say <laughs> yeah. I'll be gentle for the first hour and then <laughs> no loop. No and, then, loop. and then the rest uh, you won't even be able to tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. It'll be just be so roughed up at that point. You'll be like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. You're like, I don't really feel it know. anymore. It's all kind of <laughs> numb. It's all numb down there. Oh, that's fucked up. Uh, yeah. <sighs> so, uh, uh, yeah. I we didn't bet on whether or not uh, he's going to show up at all. Show up. Did he, he send a message in the Discord? He did. He said, he said, noise. No, bruh. <laughs> I know, but it's ten twenty seven, and I told Maddie I was only going to be an hour. So yeah, that's fine. That Tonight, <laughs> you just said hi. Hi, Al. <laughs> I still, I still, uh, I still fuck up my text so bad. No, no, it's I all do, good. Did I tell you that I do that to my boss? Accidentally, yes. and oh, I, th- I remember I did tell you that I do that often into my day to day life, but I don't know if I told you it was about my boss directly. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you did, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Oh man, that shit's so funny though. That's oh, it's great. <laughs> it's just a, it's a little, it's a character flaw. Everyone needs to have a character flaw. Okay, like, come on. I think my ADHD covers that basis, including the texting. <laughs> In yes. that regard, because I text faster than my brain. I then yeah, then I care to correct when I send a message. <laughs> no, I get it. Dude, you're fucking. There's a lot of times where I just don't think and I say shit. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, wait, hold on. Yeah. Backtrack. Let me figure yeah. out what I just said here. <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, did I actually mean what I just said, or was my brain like, oh, here's a thing to say? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, at the very least, I think we filled the episode. Oh, we definitely did. No, no, mm-hmm. it was uh, it was good. We never said welcome to Hard Homies podcast, but uh, I was going to after I brought up us starting the episode, and I said Hard Homies because that's what we were all about, and I was going to do a bit of like, well, welcome to Hard Homies, but I never did it. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it's all good. I mean, fuck it. Well, welcome to Hard Homies. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Hard Homies and uh, see ya. <laughs> the end, the end of the end. Of the end. <laughs> yeah, it's <just> fucking... <laughs> you, goodbye. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.